When the impeachment trial begins next week, the Republicans will hang their defense of Donald Trump and they will overwhelmingly vote to acquit him. A few will probably vote to convict, but at least 40 to 45 will vote to acquit. And they will hang their defense on two things. First, they say it was unconstitutional to impeach a president who has already left office. Most constitutional scholars disagree with that assessment, but let's leave that aside for a second. The second issue, they will say, is that what happened on January 6th wasn't such a big deal, and Donald Trump didn't have much of a role in it anyway. That is what they are already saying. And the question the Democrats should ask is not, do you think he played a role on January 6th, but it should be, what would Donald Trump or any Republican president need to do before you voted to impeach him? Because Donald Trump's crimes over the last four years are so extreme that if you don't think he should be impeached, then your position as a Republican is that what any Republican does, no matter what, is fine. And basically, impeachment is no longer an option and the president is the king, if he's a Republican.